The Bloodline has reigned as one of WWE's most dominant factions for years, primarily featuring members of the Anoa'i family or those connected to the family's legacy. However, some real-life Bloodline members have yet to make their mark in WWE. Notable names like Sean Maliuta, Lance Anoa'i, and Zilla Fatu, the son of the legendary Umaga, represent the family outside of WWE's Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. In recent developments, it has been revealed that Zilla Fatu will no longer be working with Game Changer Wrestling, the major promotion he's been associated with. Many fans speculate that this could signal his potential move to WWE. If Zilla Fatu does make the leap to WWE, there are a few exciting ways his debut could unfold. Here are four potential scenarios for how the son of the wrestling icon could make his impactful entrance, including the possibility of forming a new iteration of the Bloodline. Number 4. He could be Roman Reigns' enforcer. Roman Reigns has returned to WWE television with a couple of major objectives in mind. First, the original tribal chief is determined to reclaim his Zula Fala and re-establish himself as the true head of the table. On top of that, Roman aims to regain the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. However, both goals seem out of reach at the moment, as Reigns is currently standing alone. His only ally is Cody Rhodes, who also happens to be his biggest rival. This is where Zilla Fatu could make a game-changing entrance. The son of Omega could debut in the coming weeks, stepping in as Roman's new enforcer. While they'd still be a two-man unit against the world, together, they could pose a formidable threat to anyone who stands in their way. Number 3. Zilla Fatu could join Jacob Fatu in the bloodline. While Roman Reigns might hope to bring some family members to his side, that may not be the case. If Zilla Fatu signs with WWE, he could instead choose to align himself with Solo Sokoa's version of the bloodline. Solo's faction currently consists of four members, himself, Tama Tonga, Tondaloa, and Jacob Fatu. The involvement of Jacob Fatu, known as the Samoan Werewolf, could play a key role in Zilla's decision. Zilla and Jacob have teamed together on the independent circuit, so reuniting with him on WWE's grand stage would be a natural fit. While it's unclear if Zilla has a strong relationship with other family members, his bond with Jacob is undeniable. Number 2. He could form a new version of the Bloodline on WWE NXT. While it's exciting to imagine Zilla Fatu making a splash on the main roster alongside Roman Reigns, Jacob Fatu, and other members of the Anoa'i family, it's important to remember that Zilla is still new to the world of professional wrestling. Even if WWE brings him on board, he's very much a rookie at this stage. As a result, his debut might happen in NXT rather than on Friday Night SmackDown. While this might seem underwhelming to some, it could actually present an intriguing opportunity. Zilla could build his own version of the Bloodline on WWE's developmental brand. There's even speculation that Hikuleo, the half-brother of Tama Tonga, has signed with WWE. If talents like Lance Anoa'i or Sean Naluto were to join the roster, Zilla could lead a powerful family faction in NXT. With Zilla, Hikuleo, Lance, and possibly Maliuta United, they could dominate NXT and create their own legacy before moving up to the main roster. Number 1. Zilla could appear on Raw with Jey Uso Jey Uso is currently absent from the Bloodline Saga on WWE TV. While his family and their allies are battling it out on SmackDown, the Yeet Master has found himself on Raw. However, life on the Red Brand hasn't been easy for main event Jay. He's currently facing several threats, including the Judgment Day, due to his alliance with the Terror Twins and the dominant Intercontinental Champion, Braun Breaker. If Zilla Fatu joins WWE, there's a chance he could debut on Monday Night Raw, aligning with Jey Uso instead of the rest of their family on SmackDown. A union between Zilla, Jey, and the Terror Twins could spell serious trouble for the Judgment Day, shifting the balance of power on the red brand moving forward. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then see you all in the next one. Thanks!